My job is to serve the Yarl, not waste time talking to travelers. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Look. Until next time. Don't let us go in the calling. They said it's not safe. Yes, yes, what is it? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? No problem. Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. 
I've lost several close friends to the Palmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. It should be on my table. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. City underneath the keep. Shoe and sell. Best steer clear if you don't want a steam centurion carving you up. their laws. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. The Schoenzell? The ruins underneath Markov? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Preposterous! 
That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. <sighs> While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. What is it this time? This better be important. We're one of the same as you wish. could swoop down at any time.
Yes, I'm positive I heard something. I... All right. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Kalselmo? Huh? One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. The man's been hitting the skooma, I see. Beware the region northeast. Cross the river. Hmm. I am the shadow at your back. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. The mages don't let us go in the colony. They said it's not safe in there. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. was our friend Caselmo. Was there something else? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls 
an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Winterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Was there something else? You've come this far. So I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time, you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. I'm always on the lookout for all sorts of... Bring me whatever you well, find, and I'll see what I can do. We're one of the same kind, you and I. If that is what you wish... Let's go. The mages don't let us go in the college. Asser says his pa says the college makes lots of bad things happen. But the mages I've seen is nice.
I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, then. Yes. If that is what you wish. Let's go.